Hey guys, it's Christina, and I am here with Vanderpump Rules star Billy Lee. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I love your outfit. You look Thank so fabulous. You. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, how's it been going? This has been your first season on Vanderpump, yeah. and it's been great so far. What do, what's your perspective from watching it back? Um, I think it's amazing. Yeah. yeah, and I love how like you know Bravo is like doing little small parts of me and just like introducing me in such a great way. Oh yeah, and um, people, the people that, the fans of Vanderpump, they are so sweet and so yeah. nice to me. Like, my DMs are nonstop, like, beautiful messages. Awesome. Like, I'm so inspired by them. That's great. Have you had a lot of fan outreach since yeah. the show, like you said? Yeah. Yeah. It's been great. It was really cool because Tom and I went out last night and, like, people were screaming my name. So many people recognized me and I'm like, what? <laughs> like, it's happening <laughs> like, right me? now. Really? <laughs> That's cool. great. That's yeah. amazing. So who has been the most welcoming to you out of all the cast members? Um, I would have to say like Tom, Ariana, Sheena, mm -hmm. and Lala. James, I hang out with him. He's really cool. Um, but yeah, like the people that I hang out with probably most um, is Tom and Ariana. Just okay. because uh, they, um, you know, they're like, Right, they live right by me, and also Sheena's in um, Vegas right now. Right, and then Jeremy, like you know, I love yeah. Ariana's brother. He's really sweet and amazing, and mm -hmm. so kind. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, Shala is asking, is it as dramatic as it looks on the show? <sighs> well, <laughs> you know, there's it's edited, obviously, but right. yeah, I mean, it gets dramatic. It is like intense and. Even when the cameras aren't there, we still have the same drama. Like we mm -hmm. still have. Like, yes, it's still like. <laughs> like even if I bring like my best friend that doesn't work at Sir around uh -huh. to the group, she was like, "Wow, there's like always some kind of drama, <laughs> even if there's no cameras." And I'm like, "I know." <laughs> was that a big shock to you coming into this? Were you uh, expecting it to be as dramatic as it was? You know what? I had no expectations. Mm -hmm. I actually was like, "I don't want to watch any of it because yeah. I just want to meet these people and like get to know them for who they are." Okay. Yeah. So you weren't a <laughs> fan of the show beforehand. You weren't a viewer. Or the show? I knew Lisa. I was okay. a fan of Bravo, but I just I don't watch a lot of TV. Okay. Um, so I and also when I found out that I am going to get the job, I was like, you know, I didn't want to like research everyone and watch the show mm -hmm. and then have these expectations of yes. them. Like I just wanted to get to know them in an organic way. And I think you can see that on the show too because you ask questions about everybody and you're like, well, why does no somebody doesn't like this person? Why does don't, yeah. don't they like that person? So yeah. I think that's probably the easiest way to go into this. Yeah, last night I was like Tom and I were talking and he was like Sandra Vall and he was like yeah, when I modeled, I was like, you're a model? <laughs> yes. What? This makes sense. <laughs> right. It all comes he was together. like, you didn't know that? I'm like, no. I don't yeah. want to sit around and Google you guys. I just like <laughs> right. get to know you. Totally. Yeah. Tracy says, I adore you. Sheila says, you're looking fabulous. Aw, thank you so much. <laughs> I love the good vibe. Who has been the least welcoming? <sighs> least welcoming. Who would that be? Mm. I feel like at first, James was a little like, who is this? You okay. know? Like, um... And then, you know, Stassi was really kind to me. She's really nice to me. Um, Katie was really great. Mm -hmm. At first, I was a little intimidated by Katie because, like, we like made eye contact a few times while we were at work, but she didn't say hi to me. Okay. I was like, oh my god, she, she gonna me. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we ended up like hanging out one time, and we were like, we did just like end up, you know, finally talking. And I was like, I love her. Yeah. She's so cool and so nice. And I was warned by. Um, Lisa was like, don't get close to Katie. Or, oh, really? No, don't get close to Kristen. Okay. She was like, Kristen's crazy. And I was like, <laughs> I actually like Kristen. Yeah. Like, I like her craziness. Uh -huh. So her and I hang out sometimes. They're all really amazing. Yeah. Is it Was it intimidating kind of going into this situation? Because they are such a tight-knit group. Mm -hmm. And you're, you know, coming in for the first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like, I was going through a breakup. And then mm -hmm. I started a new job. And I was so vulnerable. I was probably crying like every day after work just mm -hmm. because I felt like also alone because I didn't really know anyone. Yeah. But I remember Ariana, like, um, I was kind of overwhelmed because there was like drama happening and I just didn't feel like I was meant to be there. I felt like out of place because everyone was like knew each other and they were mm -hmm. clicking. clicking. And she was like, I came into this group, didn't know a lot of people. She's like, I'm here for you, girl, if you have any That's questions. Awesome. Like, she grabbed my hand and like just was amazing from the start. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really great. Um, Ashley is asking, are you dating? You know, <laughs> um, I am dating. Mm -hmm. um, there are so many hot guys at Sir. Yeah, so, yeah there, um, are. You know. <laughs> there are. There um, are. Yeah, I'm, I'm on this journey to um, love myself. And mm -hmm. I think that um, 
I need to kind of conquer that a little bit more before I get into a relationship. And I think I need to heal from my past relationship sure. too. Um, but I am like mingling and, you know, hanging out with some boys. Yeah, <laughs> well, it is a big plot point on tonight's episode is that Jeremy from Star yeah. asks you out on a date. And it I kind of causes a little bit of controversy within the group because Stassi and Kristen are telling you not to go because he's kind of creepy. Yeah. And then obviously this is Ariana's brother. So there's a lot of going back and forth. Were you expecting this to kind of blow up the way it did? No, Not to I, give too much away. I had no <laughs> idea that anyone thought he was creepy. Right. Like he's so sweet and so nice and like just an amazing person. And then when I was hanging out with Kristen and Stassi and they said that, I was like, what? And I immediately got like scared. I'm like, what's mm. happening here? Like, wh do I not know this person? And I love Ariana. So I was like, it just really kind of scared me. And I did get a little nervous before my date, but at the same time, like, I talked to Sheena and she's like, you know who he is, like mm -hmm. he's an amazing person and like don't let their negative perception of him like, you know, uh, affect you and this date tonight. So they, re like Lala and um, Sheena really like helped me that, that yeah. day. Just like, you know, putting me back in a positive situation because sometimes I think um, Stassi and them can be a little bit on the negative side. I feel like mm -hmm. that's, like I've, a few times heard Stassi say things and I'm like, wow, she kind of is just like really negative in some yeah. ways. Even about like my vegan lifestyle. Sure. It was like, you know, I don't go around saying that you eat dead animal, but she mm -hmm. was like making fun <laughs> of me because I had vegan ranch or something. So we have that little drama about that. But Yeah, and what was the date like? Did you guys have a good time? It was so good. It was amazing. He, he was, wasn't creepy. No, he wasn't <laughs> creepy. He was so nice. Yeah. Yeah, we kick it all the time. Like okay. him and I hang out and, um, you know, I, said this from the start, I didn't want to get into a serious relationship and I'm a little older than him okay. and I know he has like some things to experience so I didn't want to like jump into a, anything serious with him yeah. but I do enjoy him. That's great. So and like you said, you're not in a, in a relationship so obviously you guys were just like casually dating. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And what was it like having cameras follow you along in your dating life because this is something that's completely different for you as well? I was so nervous. Yeah. Yeah. I, because, you know, reality television, I was like, what if I'm, like, being set up to get rejected? And right. I, as a trans woman, you're mm -hmm. constantly being rejected. And uh, I was just so afraid of being rejected on TV. Yeah. So a lot of this built up, and I got really emotional before my date. And he was so sweet and amazing and, mm -hmm. and made me feel so comfortable. And I love the fact that he just sees me as a woman and sees me for who I am. Sure. Yeah. Is it hard dating as a trans woman? It's so hard. Yeah. I was just telling... Um, my girlfriend, like, the other night I was out hosting a thing at Sir, mm -hmm. and then this guy found out that I was trans, he like Googled me, and we were hitting it off the whole night, and then as soon as he Googled me, he was like, oh, I gotta go, because really? he found out that yeah. I was trans. So mm -hmm. I like w went to Ariana, like at three in the morning crying, and she like cuddled me and just told me I was beautiful. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much, but yeah, mm -hmm. I have these moments where like life is great, and then all of a sudden, like, and you're connecting with people, and then as soon as they find out that you're trans, it's like, they reject you and they Yeah, it's like the switch goes off. Mm -hmm. That's so frustrating. It is. Yeah, but I'm sure this has probably been such a great experience for you, like you said before, that you've had so many people reach out to you, and I'm sure you've had so many people from the trans community reach out to you yes. as well. Yes. And it shows them that, you know, you can be successful, you can go out on dates, and everything's okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I'm on this journey of loving myself, and I realize there's a lot of guys out there who really do love and appreciate me for who I yeah. am. And I go on dates and I meet guys, and they're like, I don't care. That's you awesome. know, so it's mm -hmm. definitely a hit or mess. It just depends. Sure, definitely. Um, Amy's asking, joking, have you hooked up with Jax yet? No! <laughs> I would never. You would never. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, again, I'm a flirt. Mm -hmm. He's a flirt. I think we all kind of flirt and have fun. I love connecting, and I, I knew he was on this spiritual journey yeah. of, like, loving himself. And, and um, so we connected on that level. And yeah, you I guys was, connected pretty early on, too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, you know, I do yoga, hot yoga every day, mm -hmm. and I meditate. And I was like, you really should get into hot yoga and meditation. And um, yeah, so we just connected on that vibe. But like, people do say like, oh, you guys were flirting, or you know, what's going on? And I remember like one night, someone was like, did you guys hook up? Or something happened. And I was like, no, I would never hook up with him. And I would never do that to Brittany because sure. she's such an amazing woman. Mm -hmm. And I love her so much. Yeah, what do you think about their relationship? Do you think, mm -hmm. as somebody that's kind of seeing this for the first time, seeing mm -hmm. their dynamic for the first time, obviously a lot went down with their relationship this season. Do you think that she should move on? Do you think that they're good together? You know, I've, I, I in the past, I would be like, oh, that girl's stupid. I cannot mm -hmm. believe she's with him. And I've seen comments where people are like, you know, Britney's stupid, what are you doing with him? 
And then I've been in a situation where I was the stupid girl. Yeah. And I was we've madly in love. Yeah. We've mm -hmm. all been there. And if she's really committed on like with him and like they wanna like have a relationship and he wants to work on himself and he wants to be a better man for her, I can't like, you know, be negative about that. And I give her so much love and support. And I think that if she loves him and she's happy, go for it. Go for it, yeah. yeah. Sarah's asking, was it easier dating before the show <clears throat> because people couldn't Google you? Yes. yes. <laughs> I, that's why I cried so hard the other night. <laughs> and Ariana, yeah. I like, I realized that um, not only am I trans, but I'm going to be like, famous, I guess, yeah. or out there. Right, and, oh, totally. Uh, yeah, so that was really hard. And I kind of got this thought in my head, like, oh my God, am I going to be alone for the rest of my life? And that's like when I, and I was a little tipsy. Yeah. <laughs> but I just lost it. And like, thank God Ariana was there to like save me. But, um, you know, I know there's someone out there that's going to be amazing for me. Mm -hmm. And I just always try to stay positive. But sometimes we do, you know, get negative thoughts in our head and we actually of believe course. them. Yeah. yeah. How can you not? But yeah. it'll happen when you least expect it. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Um, what has been the most, what's been the biggest thing that's changed in your life since being on the show? Honestly, I would probably say the love and support. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and, and also just like a little bit of financial freedom, like, mm -hmm. you know, working at SIR and like, also, like, I get to, because as an activist and, like, you know, if you can't really make money in being an activist. And mm -hmm. also, I love writing and blogging, and it's hard to make money like that. So it's nice to be working at SIR and actually make money. Yeah. Is it crazy to think, like, how your life was maybe a few years ago to how it is now? Yeah. yeah. You know, I've always known, I've, I've always known since I was little, like, in um, my hometown that I would have my own talk show someday mm -hmm. because I went I just felt that and I really wanted to have a platform where I can educate and inspire people. And so I went to school for journalism and here I am today and I do feel like it's gonna happen. Sure, yeah, yeah, that's great, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Uh, Jean is asking, how is Lisa to work for? Lisa, first of all, I just love her as a person. Mm -hmm. Like, I have a connection with her. But you know, you're, all your bosses, like I remember when I was going through a breakup, she would be like, Billy, can you smile more? <laughs> like you're greeting the customers. Right. Smile. And I'm like, oh, actually, you know. And I was sad, and my I was thinking negative thoughts because I was really sad, and I was rejected by my ex. So, uh, but yeah, she's you know she's on it. She knows her mm -hmm. stuff, and she's really she's a boss, and I respect her for that. And um, so I just like you know do what she says and. I please the queen. Yes, you yes. have to bow down to the queen. <laughs> um, you mentioned Stassi before that she's always a little bit negative, and I know that you went on her podcast mm -hmm. and she apologized to you for saying some negative things in the past. Did you, did you accept her apology? Did you believe her apology? Yeah, I think that you know, just like all of us, she's learning through her experiences, mm -hmm. and you know, sometimes we all come from different backgrounds, and sometimes I have say ignorant things, mm -hmm. and I learn from that. Um, just you know. I think that she knows and realizes that maybe she's thinking negative a lot, and yeah. I feel like she's turning that around and trying to think positive. And um, I wish the best for her. Like I don't really get to see her that often because okay. she doesn't work at Sir. Right. But um, yeah, I send her good vibes. Yeah. yeah. Have you met her new boyfriend? I yeah, I have actually. Is he nice? Yeah, he's really nice. Yeah. yeah. I think I met him. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sometimes we're out, like you know, and I forget. But yeah. Uh, what about Lala and James? Because she came in here a couple weeks ago, and she said that that friendship is done. That they are no yeah. longer friends anymore. They don't speak. She's blocked him from her phone and everything like that. Do you think that they're going to become friends again, or do you think that he's done too much damage? I I honestly think that he's done too much damage. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't really know what's going to happen in the future, but yeah. I do know that Lala doesn't want to put up with someone tr like disrespecting her man like that mm -hmm. and her guy is so sweet and yeah. so like he's really good to her and she really loves him mm -hmm. and I think we need to like respect and honor that and also respect her privacy um, so in that relationship so I um, <clears throat> I was a little annoyed whenever he said those things and uh, I mean, hopefully they heal from it, but I think she definitely needs the space, yeah. you know, just so she can enjoy her relationship and not have anyone negative talking about their relationship. Sure, totally. Uh, Star says, love will find you when you least expect it, yes. And then Karen is asking, do you actually work at Sir or is it just for the show? I've always wondered. No, I actually work there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I work, whenever we were filming, I was working five days a week and I was so stressed out. and. I just was overwhelmed and I asked Lisa, I was like, Lisa, can I take a month off just to like 
get myself together yeah. and heal from my previous relationship. And um, she was like, yes, of course. So they covered my shifts and they gave me time off. And you now I'm out promoting the show and stuff, mm -hmm. so I'm not there as much. But I definitely try to pick up shifts and I'm there at least two days a week. Oh, wow. And then I'm gonna start hosting a brunch. Oh, that's yeah, exciting. Yeah, I'm gonna be hosting a brunch there. Um, cause Sir now is open for brunch and, um, mm -hmm. I love brunch, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were there a couple, a couple, like, la no, we were there last week and we were hoping to see everybody, but we didn't. Oh, uh, wait, did you go to dinner? <laughs> yes, we went to dinner. Uh, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, well, next time you go, you need to hit me up. I just right. hosted a dinner thing there and it was all, everyone came out. It was so yeah, great. That's yeah, that's so awesome. So you, so you do work there when cameras are not rolling? Yes. Okay, yeah. so yeah, I think that's what everybody wants to know. Yes, me too. <laughs> and like, you know, sometimes it's like, you take a, I took a month off and then going back there working, I was like, my feet hurt. Like, right. you know, <laughs> I definitely can get my diva moments where I'm uh -huh. like, I need a 10 minute break. <laughs> I'm sure. But, yeah. um, did you go on the trip to Mexico coming I up? I didn't. No, yeah. but I'm sure you probably heard about some of the drama that goes down. Oh my God, there was so much drama. Mm -hmm. But at the time, like, we were short staffed and I was working, I was hosting every day and like, they're like, you can't go on a vacation right now. Like, we don't have enough employees. Right. So I couldn't go to Mexico, but yeah. I heard some crazy stuff happened. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, someone has left his number for you in the comments. <clears throat> so what? maybe we'll, we'll okay. check that out later. Um, coming up, what's that one moment that you can't wait for fans to see from the show or learn about you a little bit more this season? Well, I'm excited for them to see the date tonight. Yeah. You know, like um, I'm not being rejected and um, he's really kind and um, accepting. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love the fact that he is showing America that men can date trans women yeah and you're not a homosexual if you date a trans woman mm -hmm. and you know trans women are very powerful and very beautiful and I think that when a guy steps out in this society and dates a trans woman openly they are so brave yeah. and so amazing mm -hmm. and like and so I just give him all the props yeah, yeah no he like the way that he was speaking to you and handled everything he's just like a very respectable person. Yeah. yeah, no, totally. Did I read this correctly that Leighton Meester actually helped you in your transition? Is that correct? Can you tell me the yes. story? I, I, you know, it's like such a, my, the hardcore part of my transition, like the surgeries and the really hard time, <clears throat> I do kind of try to keep that a little private totally. just because uh, it was a really hard time for me. Yeah, yeah. And, but yeah, she's uh, one of my angels. Mm -hmm. Like, and I th I've had a few angels in my life, and she's one of them. She's the most beautiful, amazing person I've ever met. That's great. That's yeah. awesome. So then, looking forward, are you? Do you want to stay with reality TV? I know you said you would love to do a talk <laughs> show in the future or something like that, but reality TV is yeah. it's good for you right now. Yeah, I I love sharing my story right now, mm -hmm. and um, you know, if I can educate and inspire anyone, I want to. I would love for my trans community to be more accepted. Yeah. So if I can be visible in that way. Um, but yeah, the ultimate goal is to have a platform where I can share other people's story, not mm -hmm. just my own. So yeah. definitely a talk show or hosting something would be great. But I plan on being at Surf for a couple more years. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming by. Yeah. And I, I, everybody's got to check you out tonight. Watch What Happens yes. Live. Yes. yes, I'll be bartending at Watch What Happens Live. <laughs> right. I'm totally getting tipsy. <laughs> Good, <laughs> as you should. Yes. Philly, thank you so much. Thank and you. thank you guys for all of your questions and your comments. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.